Well, hey y'all, we're fixing to put something on the smoker and it's gonna be delicious and we're gonna have some of it for supper and the other one I'm gonna save and it's gonna be an ingredient for something that we're gonna to do together. I've got two blocks of cream cheese and we're just gonna <laughs> get this opened up. I've got my smoker set on 225. Now you can do this in a regular oven if you would like to at 225. I'm just going to take some duck fat. You can use your favorite oil. This is my favorite oil. And I'm just going to coat all the sides so it'll be a, a good binder. It's going to be slick to pick up. This is room temperature because when it gets on that smoker, I want it to start a rocking and a rolling. Now, we made some of my very favorite barbecue rub the other day. And it's in my cookbook, and I'll put a link to that. So, I've just got it right here in this little handy-dandy container. And I did not add salt, if y'all remember, because I like to add salt whenever, in my hand train, to whatever I am cooking. So, I've just got some, some Celtic sea salt, and this is a little bit coarse. You can use your favorite. You don't have to use any if you don't want to. And you can use your favorite rub. You can add some pepper if you'd like. So, let's just get us some. It's going to be pretty liberal with this. There we go. And let's get some on this side over here. There we go. And let's see if I can do this without making a big old mess. I'm just going to turn my wax paper up or parchment paper up like that. Smoosh it on all sides. Get all good and smooshed in there. Now I'm gonna cut this differently than you've probably seen some people cut theirs. So let me go ahead and cut this one block and I will do this other one later now. Okay, so I was watching something one day and People were cutting these with a knife, and when you use a knife, a lot of times these little skinny ends will just kind of like lop off. And I thought, you know, if I can use unflavored dental floss to cut cinnamon rolls, why can't I do it like this? So that's what we're gonna do, unflavored dental floss. Don't cut all the way down to the bottom. We're just gonna cross hatch it about halfway down. There we go. And this will really be pretty when it comes out of the smoker or out of the oven. Yeah. Now we'll do it the other way. And in my smoker, I'm using apple wood because it is my absolute favorite. My favorite thing to smoke with. Okay. There we go. All right, I'm going to do this other one and get her done, and then I'll meet you outside when we get ready to put these on the pit boss. Okay, I got the old pit boss up to 225, and this will not melt them, and they won't just run everywhere. And you can smoke them up to two hours, but I'm going to check them at a, about an hour, an hour and a half I'll peek in, because, you know, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. So I'm just going to put these on there, and I'm going to do it on the parchment paper. No reason to get anything else dirty. So, see y'all back when these are done. Well, it is done. They were out there about an hour and 45 minutes and it smells delicious in here. Now, the, this other one fell apart, so I chose for us to have for supper the pretty one. This one I'm gonna use as an ingredient and that's gonna be a delicious meal that you're gonna be able to do on the grill, the smoker, or in the oven. Now you can take your favorite uh, hot pepper jelly, you can eat it just like this, or you can take your favorite hot pepper jelly and just pour right over the top. And if your pepper jelly is room temperature, it will just go down in those cracks and crevices. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, I'm gonna get just a little bite. It's gonna be hot, I didn't bring me anything over here to drink. So, <laughs> we'll see how we do. Ah! First things first. 
get those spectaculars off my head or they'll go woo. Oh gosh. Mmm, y'all. I cannot explain to you how good this is. The smoke is just right. The rub on it is balanced. This is great. It's great without a ch without the pepper jelly though. Supper time at our house. I'll see you next time and y'all go do something fun and cook yourself up something that's scrump dilly-icious. Bye y'all.